12 News is your local election headquarters. The race to replace David Cicilline in Congress is taking shape as more candidates decide to jump in. Our Steph Machado is here now with the latest elected official to get into the race. And Steph, it's someone you cover on your regular beat. That's right. Providence City Councilman John Gonsalves says he is running for Congress. Gonsalves is fairly new on the political scene. He first ran for office in 2020 in a special election for an open seat on the city council. He then won re-election in 2022 and started his first full term in January of this year. Gonsalves is a teacher. He lives on the east side of Providence and joins a growing list of Democrats planning to run in this congressional primary. Two of the most prominent other candidates so far are Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos and State Senator Sandra who have both announced their intentions to run for the seat. The other declared candidate, in addition to Matos, Cano, and Gonsalves, include Nick Adiello, a former Ramundo official, state rep Nathan Bia, political newcomer Makeda Barnes, and former Republican turned Democratic candidate Alan Waters. And there are still plenty of other potential candidates still exploring a run. Steph, is this a wide open race at this point? It is, especially after we saw both House Speaker Joe Shikarchi and former gubernatorial candidate Helena Folks decide not to run. Both of them would have been able to raise a lot of money for this race, and a number of Democrats were waiting to see if they would get in. Here's what our political analyst Joe Fleming said about this on Newsmakers over the weekend. But right now it's a wide open field. There's no one in there who has wealth like uh, Speaker Sakachi or Helena Folks had to start the campaign with. So all these other people have to raise a lot of money. They're starting with very little right now. So anyone saying, hey, I can get in multi-candidate field, I can win with 25% of the vote. And guys, we had another potential candidate, former state rep Aaron Regenberg, announced today that he has resigned from his federal clerkship in order to explore a run for this congressional seat. So when will we know the final slate of candidates? Well, the deadline hasn't even been set yet because the special election won't be called for until after Cicilline resigns on June 1st. So it won't be until sometime after June 1st that we'll know the final slate of candidates. The primary is expected to be held in August or September with the general election about two months later. A lot to keep an eye on. All right, Target 12 investigator Steph Machado, thanks for being here. Of course.